right, let's check your forecast one more time. Lonnie is out of the stadium making friends left and right. Game five tonight at the big ball yard. It has been you know, pretty awesome being out here. I've never been to a World Series game. I've never been outside a stadium that's hosting a World Series game. So it is pretty darn, you know, electric out here. I mean, there it is. Yankee Stadium right across the street. Now, you're going to notice, all right, you know, where are all the people that were there, you know, when I was with you earlier? Well, they've opened the door, so now people are starting to fill up the stadium. Uh, but let's get right to it because it's going to be a beautiful night for baseball out there. And if you look at what the numbers are right now, I mean, here you go, 75 degrees in the city. <laughs> pushing 80 in Poughkeepsie. It's 78 as of right now. So what's going to be happening as we look ahead? Well, the radar picture doesn't show us anything that we've got to worry about in terms of rain out there. It's just not it's just not in the cards. Maybe a wispy cloud here or there. You did pick up a little tiny bit of rain yesterday, and that system is now well up into Canada, and it was light rain at that. It's not going to do any sort of a, a U-turn. It's not coming back to the area, but it put some rain down. The biggest number I can show you, Monticello, about a tenth of an inch, 0.11. In New York City, the smallest amount that we can officially measure is one one hundredth of an inch, which is what we picked up. And yet that officially does break the dry streak. 29 straight days, the second longest dry streak that we've ever had. But with one one hundredth of an inch in our rain bucket for the, for the whole month of October so far, I mean, that's our driest month that we've ever encountered. Back in 1949, and it was July of 1949, we picked up uh, one, two one hundredths of an inch of rain. So, you know what? We're in the first place position. I'd rather not be in the first place position. I just don't see any rain looming out there. I mean, Halloween, you're 80 degrees. Keep in mind the record is 81. Friday, you're 75. Now, Friday, that's November 1st. Well, there is a chance for a little bit of rain. It wouldn't be much. Maybe a tenth of an inch, possibly two tenths of an inch around the area. We have a deficit of almost seven inches. We need some rain, gang. Get to Saturday, cooler air is in place because now you're on the back side of that front. It's a sunny sky, but it's only, you know, say 59 degrees. So if you look at the records that are in jeopardy, and I've got them shaded in red right now because those are the four Forecast numbers forecasting a 77 for JFK. Well, the record is 75. All right, forecasting 76 for Bridgeport, Connecticut. The record is 75. Central Park, we're forecasting 80. The record is 81. Well, who's to say you don't, you know, squeeze out an extra degree across the board? We'll go 80 tomorrow, 75 Friday, 59 on Saturday, like we talked about. Sunday, you're 62. Monday, 65. Sunday's weather is perfect for the marathon. 69 on Tuesday. And what is this again? Wednesday, all right? A week from now, we're back to the mid-70s out there. This has been a fall that is unlike any that we've really experienced out here with all this warmth and dry air in place, and there's not a lot of rain in that seven-day forecast, so more of the same looming. Guys, we are live here at Yankee Stadium. Pretty cool experience, and the game is coming up, but right now it's all yours. All right, Lon, thanks so much.